We know Tamsin Outhwaite, don't we, for playing EastEnders Mel Owen, among so many other roles. And now to keep us entertained in lockdown, she oh, is back. Now, this is so interesting. It's a virtual play. It's called The Haunting of Alice Bowles. And she joins me now. It just shows you. Honestly, Tamsin, it's lovely to see you. How are you? Hi, Lorraine. I'm good. How are you? Oh, great to see you. I'm fine. I'm absolutely fine. It's just always a joy to talk to to talk to Doddy. He's, he's, in, he's truly inspirational. That word gets bandied about a lot, but he, but he really is. And... Isn't it incredible what people can do? Here you are in a play, a virtual play, and you've managed to do this somehow. How does it actually work? Uh, well, original theatre company, they seem to make virtual situations of theatre um, work extremely well. So we're all missing theatre. And what they've done, um, what Philip Franks has done, is he's taken an Mr. James play and adapted it. And it's a haunting thriller, so it's quite scary. But there are two stories running alongside each other. One is set in 1918 with Alice Bowles, which is my character. And then one is set in 2020, which is very telling. Max Bowden and another character who are, well, they're YouTubers, I suppose. So it's real sign of the times. And they uncover some mysteries about what happened in 1918. And basically, Alice Bowles, my character, has... She's just recently been widowed and she is being haunted by the ghost of her husband. Ooh, very interesting. And I, and I saw you mentioned Max there, you know, of course, from EastEnders. Nice to yeah. sort of reunite with them. I know it was all, you weren't actually yes. together. Yeah. So, so weird because we, he actually phoned me to see if I wanted to do it. So he called and I was like, have we got any scenes together? And he said, no, we're in completely different times. <laughs> so I didn't work with him. And in fact, I didn't work with anyone. So it's all remote. Amazing. So all this equipment arrived at my house with a massive green screen and everything that I did, a box of props, um, makeup, not makeup, sorry, uh, costume. Sure. And all of this 1918 costume came around. And suddenly, as I got into it and stood in front of a green screen, you have no idea how it's going to turn out. And on Zoom, you are acting with the people that you're in the scene with, but you obviously can't look at them because your eye line is above a camera. So it's very different. It's a completely different way of working. So I'm, I'm acting scenes, looking at a camera, but listening. It really helps you listen even more as an actor. No, and then you hand it over trustingly to these magicians <laughs> and they put all the background in on the green screen and make it all work and how they've managed to do it. I mean, it's, it's innovative and it's very inspiring to watch because yes, you think, how is theatre going to, to come about? But maybe this is a new way of working yeah. that we can still use. Yeah, absolutely. And you got your man involved, didn't you? You got Tom involved. He was, he was oh. helping with props and scenery and all kinds of things going on. Yeah, I'd have been useless without him because he actually managed to work out where the lights go and, you know, the sound coming through. He's much more technical than me. So, yeah, I would have been lost without joint him. Joint effort, joint effort. And, of course, you've been, you've been in lockdown. The family's been in lockdown, the girls as well. And how is it? You're now going to have to go back to all the, all the homeschooling again. We are homeschooling now. Um, you know, the Wi-Fi is taking a bashing and we're all... It's, it can be quite fraught, but so many moments come out of it that you think, I'm going to try and hold on to that. And I want to make sure that when we're not in lockdown, we still do this. Um, you know, whether it's the half hour dance around the kitchen in the evening that we all do together or whatever it is, you know, the walks and the, the nature that we've discovered as a family. It's just, it's crazy, crazy times. But uh, the highs are very high. And obviously we're all everyone's going through it together. Yeah, no, we are. And you've got to, what I would say is try and do something every day if you can, even if it's just tiny, even if it's just reading yes. a magazine or reading a book Absolutely. or but, having a chat with I somebody mean, that you love. Yeah, yeah just, just reaching that. out is so important. Just that. Because you forget that other people are feeling exactly how you are. Yeah. Yeah, and it's okay, and it's all right, and it's good to sort of share yeah. that. We were, we've been talking about that th this morning. Um, now, obviously, when you worked in EastEnders, it's a family. And the head of the family yes. for a very, very long time was Barbara Windsor, wasn't it, Dame Barbara? Yes. It's going to be her funeral on Friday. Now, in normal times, you wouldn't be able to get in to any place that Barbara was being put to rest because so many people want to pay their respects. But there's a really good way that we can, isn't there? And that's, that's to help the charity that she, yes, she was an ambassador outside. for, her and Scott. 
Yeah, so Scott has, has made it quite public. Her husband, Scott, made it public that if you wanted to send flowers, you could send flowers or you can donate. So that's what we've done. Obviously, you can't get millions of people who, you know, are her fans into one place at the moment. So obviously the nearest and dearest, I think it's about 20 people will be going to the funeral, but we can all donate to the Alzheimer's Society. Exactly, so. and it's a lovely way to pay tribute to a very, very special woman. She must have been incredible to work with. Absolutely incredible in every way. You know, she was, uh, or apart from being an icon, if you were lucky enough to know her, she was an inspiration as well. And their relationship is, uh, it's just something to savour. And it's magical, really. Yeah, Both it's... such lovely people. Absolutely. Couldn't agree with you more. Couldn't agree with you more. And, and, and very good that you got the chance to actually know her and to spend time with her and, and to work with yeah. her too. Um, and I just always wonder what she, she would be making of all of this. Um, she probably well, exactly. she probably would be doing exactly what you're doing, you know, something like The Haunting of Alice Bowles, something that, that's online, you know. So she would yeah. be, she'd be doing that, of course. Absolutely. I mean, the way things are at the moment, some productions are up and running, but the majority of things have have stopped and theatre definitely has stopped. So, you know, we are all finding new ways. One thing I do know is when we all come back, hopefully it will be soon, but when we all come back, theatre-wise, it will be so special. Oh, yeah. It really will. It'll be very emotional, actually. I think we will. I think so. I, I, honestly, I think even, even if we go to see a comedy, I think we'll be crying, but, cry, but yeah. good crying. <laughs> Positively, we. This is lovely to see you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. You can watch The Haunting of Alice Bowles, of course, online right now. And we're all desperate for, for entertainment, so I can't wait to see that. I'm saving it up for tonight. Until the 28th of Feb, yeah, you can see. Yeah, that's yes. right. Brilliant. Thank you so much, love. It's great Thank to see you. Thank you, Lorraine. Thank you. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.